Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and we are continuing to learn about Angular routing. In today's episode, we will learn about the various routing strategies available in Angular. Angular router uh, enables us to use routing strategies. There are namely two routing strategies. One is hash and using the second one is the path. We will learn all about it in this tut tutorial series. So welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I am here to share my knowledge with you on modern tech stack technologies. Also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials. So please support me by liking the videos and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much in advance. So, like I said, this is a uh, Angular 9 full tutorial series. The full tutorial series can be found in the playlist I have created for you. So if you really want to learn Angular, don't forget to ch check out the full tutorial playlist where we have around 30 odd tutorials. <coughs> also, I am dedicating this particular coming 15-20 tutorials only on Angular routing, which will help you master the Angular routing completely. So this is part two of it. So this is where we are. So we will learn all about Angular routing all the different features, functionalities provided in Angular routing. This is an extensive tutorials I'm creating for you. So make sure you follow all the tutorials to learn everything about Angular routing. Let's start with learning about Angular strategies, Angular routing strategies in this tutorial. So the first thing is the big plan, like how do you want your application to behave? That is what is Angular routing strategy. These are the questions you should be asking during the initial phases of designing your application. There are namely two important things that we need to keep in mind. How our end users will look at the URL. Let me give you an example first while making some notes. All right, so we are making notes along. So make sure you follow the notes. Routing strategies. Okay, so first thing, so this is this is extremely important to design the correct routing strategies in your application. How you want the end user to see the URL. For example, here if you see, we are giving slash product slash 10 slash details, question mark search param. So these are the different routes that you will plan in your application, right? So you may have some routes like slash home. You will also have some routes like let's say dashboard right now the thing is some of these urls like search can take query params right so you will pass some keywords this is called query param you can also have child routes like this product slash 10 right where you're targeting a specific product you can also have multiple levels of details <clears throat> so here you're getting the product images then you can also configure uh, default routes so imagine these are the use cases of your routes now using strategies we can define whether we want path location or hash location strategy so these are the two different types of routing strategies that are available now location strategy this is what we will import from our modules. So we need to import location strategy, which is what is very important. And we can specify which type of strategy we want to use. When we say we want to use hash location or path location, there are two, two types of routing strategies. So one is path location, one is hash location strategy. By default, all Angular apps are using path path location strategy 
by default it's all path location which means it will go like this slash home slash products slash search this is the by default path location strategy now when we say hash location strategy right so we will see like this we will see you see the difference do you see the difference between these two path this is slash home this is slash products here it will be slash products slash home but with in front of it there would be slash hash this is called as hash location <coughs> So this is called hash location strategy. We can choose any one we want based on our application. There is no restriction. So we can choose any, any strategy we want for our, for our application. There is no constraint, constraint or restriction. <coughs> It depends upon your application but so like I said by default it is always path location you can also make use of hash location strategy so this is some of the examples of path location strategy we discussed it would be starting with slash product slash details whereas with respect to hash location it will be hash slash products hash slash product slash 10 right now let's see it in action Let's do a hands-on example. So the first thing we need to do is go to our app module, right? And here you will see in the providers, we will write. <coughs> in the providers, we will, first we need to import that and say that what are we trying to import? So the, the syntax that you will write under providers is provide, and then you will say, location strategy right and then you will say use class so we will say use class and here we will mention the kite the type of we want hash location strategy and let's close it here <coughs> all right so now you see it has already imported it if not we will have to import them right so you need to import location strategy and hash location strategy and inject them in the providers. You will write provide location strategy and then use hash location. Now let's start the application. And when we launch our application, we should see that it should show the hash URL. It will take a minute to build in the meanwhile I want to request you give a thumbs up to this video if you're liking it also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting me all right so the application is compiled now let's it says localhost 4200 that's the default port let's go to our application and refresh this so now you see something interesting here <clears throat> so clearly you see that now it is using hash location strategy because automatically it is adding hash in front of it. If we remove it, if we remove this now, or just comment it off, let's say, right? So we are not providing any location strategy to it. So now it will be only hash. So see, now there won't be any, any path uh, which says slash hash, because we are telling it not to use the hash I'm bringing it back using hash location strategy so now we see it is back with hash I'm going to remove it and then enter again just to show you so it still shows hash right so that is that is how uh, the different strategies work in angular application so namely there are two location uh, we need to import and inject it in the providers location strategy and then we have to tell what class we want to use either it is hash location or it is path location right so we need to import this and there you go
so now it will use by default strategy which is path location so we can choose anything that we want to use there is no constraint or restriction it depends upon your application all right so that was all about angular routing strategies in the next tutorial we will learn about an important uh, concept important feature of routing which is base href without this no angular application routing can be complete or you cannot run an angular application without base href so you don't want to miss out that one stay tuned for that see you in the next episode don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like the video thank you so much